In order to solve absolute value equations, step one, get your absolute value expression isolated. So for us, we need to move over this plus four. So that's going to be the first thing I do. Subtract the four on either side. Drop down your absolute value portion. And this is now going to be equal to six. So when it comes to absolute value equations here, when it comes to absolute value, keep in mind what absolute value bars do. Absolute, absolute value bars make anything inside those bars positive. All right, so if I take the absolute value of negative three, it is a three. Absolute value of three is also a three. It just automatically reverts it to a positive value here. So when we're solving here, because of the absolute value bars, you know, uh, when we're working with these style of questions here, it's hard for us in the end to know, hey, was that supposed to be a negative 3 or a positive 3? Because we see the solution of a 3. But when we try and backtrack, you know, we don't really know which one it started out as. So mathematically, we assume that both are true. So with absolute value equations, absolute value inequalities even, once we get our absolute value expression isolated, after this, we assume for both scenarios and we always break it up into two equations, two inequalities. So this is how that works. We have the 2x plus 5 is equal to 6. So we're just going to rewrite that, ignoring the absolute value bars. You're going to create a second equation for the positive and the negative version here. So this is our positive version is equal to a 6. We're going to take the same equation, 2x plus 5. Now we're going to set it equal to a negative 6. All right, so your first equation is always going to stay normal. The second equation, just change the sign on what it's set equal to. Solve both of these equations. So I like to solve them at the same time. I'm going to subtract 5 on either side here. All right, subtract the 5 to get 2x is equal to 1. Or subtract the 5 over here to get 2x, well, is also, actually is equal to negative 11. Divide the 2 on each side. And we get that x is equal to 1 half. And we also get that x is equal to 11 halves. Leave them as fractions. They like fractions, not decimals. So our two solutions, a 1 half and an 11 halves.